Thank you for joining us today on Black Investments Matter. I'm Antoine Anderson, and today we're going to go over a few tips on how to format your CSV files using Google Sheets for your 2022 taxes. Preparing your CSV file for TurboTax is just like any other uh, application or tax prep software that you're going to have. You're going to have some problems with those headers. But this is a quick fire way of getting everything in order for the uphold to TurboTax uh, transactions. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, first and foremost, TurboTax has a link to the actual header columns you're going to be using. Uphold does not use the same wording, and that's where the problem is. So if you go to the TurboTax site, and I will go ahead and post a link in the, in the comment section, um, TurboTax Universal Template is what we're going to be using, and it has those designations right there in the list. But let's go ahead and turn our attention to our already downloaded CSV file. First and foremost, I went ahead and blocked out all of my transaction IDs. You're going to need that column. And this is just so that you can see where these columns are actually going to end up. Um, first, the date column. That's the first one in its format. We're going to come back to that. Next is the type. So let's go ahead and move our destination columns by highlighting the columns and we're using Google Sheets. Hold down the shift key, click the next columns, right click, cut, and then go over here and highlight three columns and then paste them. Just get them out the way. All right. Um, you're going to notice a few things with these uh, fields. They're not static, so you're going to have to stretch them out so you can kind of get the idea. And um, go ahead and insert a few more columns just so we can have places to move these things. Okay. Like I said, the first column next after date is the type. So we go over to the type column, highlight it, cut, and paste. Let's go ahead and shrink this back over. All right. After that, it's the sent asset and sent amount, received asset and amount, fee asset and amount. Make sure you got those things right. It's the asset, then the amount, asset, then the amount, asset, and the amount for each one of those. So go here. Uphold doesn't call them sent or received. It calls them origin and destination. So let's go ahead and you can either change those names now or move them first. So destination. That's not the first one. I'm going to go origin. Origin amount. and origin currency. Origin currency, we're gonna rename to cent. Asset. All right, highlight it, cut, and paste. Origin amount is sent amount. Cut and paste. Sent asset, sent amount. Sent asset, sent amount. Do the same thing for our destination asset or destination currency in this case and turn it to received. Asset and destination to received amount. Do the same thing. Received asset, cut, paste. Received amount, cut, paste. Notice 
that these column headers have capital letters in each of the words. You definitely want to make sure you have that done. All right. Fee amount, fee currency. We call it fee asset and fee amount. Fee asset and amount. So fee currency is actually fee asset. And let's move those. Cut. Let's put them over here for now. Paste. Cut. Move this one over one. Paste. And our fee amount. Cut. And paste. All right. Origins. Destinations. Statuses. We don't need those. We could have just put the blockchain hash, that's just like destination or exchange or whatever, but these are the columns that you need. You need the date, type, sent asset, sent amount, received um, asset, received amount, fee asset, fee amount, and that all important ID hash. That's the transaction ID. So we're gonna go ahead and rename that one to transaction. ID. Now I deliberately put my uh, columns in here as black so we don't sh you know share any uh, sensitive information here and we'll just take that off afterwards. So after this thing is ready yours shouldn't have this black mark on it. Just rename it. Uphold 2022 CSV file. All right, and it's ready to go. File, download it because you're using Google Sheets as a CSV file. And upload it to your TurboTax. Add investment. I'm gonna look for uphold. Got it. Enter it a different way. Cryptocurrency. The CSV file. Continue. Say other. And the name is uphold. And we want the transactions. Continue. Browse for our CSV file. And hit upload. It may take a couple of minutes to upload it, but that is that. If you have any comments, suggestions, critiques, please leave them in the comment section of the video. We would love to hear from you, um, but this is going to work. And you may have to do some editing um, with TurboTax. Well, there we go. Success. Continue. Yeah. Have you added all your crypto? Let's say yes. Continue. All right. I don't have any others. Continue. And this is where it gets interesting. Continue. They want to try to get you to uh, designate all of these transactions. Now, you can do bulks, but once you get them in there, it is a pain. And I'm not going to lie. Um, if you're like me, I've done hundreds of transactions a day with my crypto mining in, in a year. And... Anytime I add these things, it's going to be a problem. But uh, it wants you to give you the type of transaction. And that's all of them.
Now, obviously, there are some ways to finagle the bagel when it comes to that other field to try to get that information in there, but ultimately, you're going to have to go in and review those transactions anyway with what hold. I think that there should be an easier way to get that done, but if you can't, just give yourself enough time to knock those uh, transactions out. You can verify them with uh, your transaction history from Uphold. It's not like you don't have the documentation, but if you are struggling with that, this is probably the easiest way you're gonna get it done, and it was only done in 10 minutes. If you guys have some um, tips, tricks that I didn't show here, please leave them in the comment section. And if you like this video, the best way to say thank you is by hitting that like and subscribe button, and I will talk to you very, very soon.